Welcome. 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 Welcome.
yeah. earlier. Good stuff. And, uh, Paper oh, another Mario. thing I've been doing this week. Oh, oh, Paper Mario. Yeah, Color Splash for the Wii U. Color. That's, that's the new releases this week. That's actually the most interesting thing there. To me, anyways. Uh, if, maybe well, not Paper this Mario one. is the... No, okay. <laughs> or just, like, the the previous Paper Marios were very good games. Uh, not the last two. Well, okay, I'm thinking, like, NES. Wow, well, super... And I guess there was... No, like, no, what, the, was the, the, the Paper DS Mario stuff. Or... The Paper Mario stuff started on the 64. Was... No, I could have sworn there was a Paper Mario on No, the, no, you're really NES. thinking about... Uh, or Super NES. I think, you're, the, I think the SNES, you might be thinking SNES. about Yoshi's World or Yoshi I, Yoshi's Island. No, I'm pretty sure there was a Paper Mario no, on the No, there's no Super Paper NES. Mario on the Super Nintendo, goddammit. There's a Super Mario RPG. He's not, he's not paper okay, in that, that, though. Okay. He's not paper in okay. that. He's like 3D Mario in that one. He's got dimensions. Even though they're, it's all sprites. You know how Donkey Kong kind of used like 3D models as sprites? Well, that's that's what yeah. Super Mario RPG did on on that anyways. Uh oh, I might have lost Steiner there. What? Oh no. no I'm, okay. It's just I'm, your video froze. I upon hear you. Me. Uh Okay. That's it's all awesome. good. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Uh oh, I'm installing Skype while the show is going. That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I might have accidentally made Bing my default search. Oh well. Ooh. What can you do? That that's, that, good... that's something you can switch pretty easy, anyways. Yes. Okay. Um. Why I w was saying yeah something I was doing this past weekend was binge watching Luke Cage on Netflix. Good stuff. Yeah, and that was actually pretty good. It was a little bit of an odd ending, but it is Luke Cage, so it was somewhat to be expected. But yeah, uh, Luke Cage Appreciate. just makes me think of the real Cage in Mortal Kombat. But you know, J good old Johnny, <laughs> good old Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Yeah, who who is Big Luke black Cage? Dude versus small white dude. Who I, is I Luke don't... Cage? I don't even know. Who's that guy? Okay. Some Marvel I, dude. I, I'm pretty sure Luke Cage is been around longer than Johnny Cage. <laughs> no, <laughs> never, never. <laughs> uh, hey, do me a favor. Restart your video. See if, see if that fixes video. it. See if that fixes it. It might just be at my end. Who knows? Okay, let's go into the gaming news of the week. I actually got some stuff this week to talk about. Hey, it fixed it. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna play this thingy here. All right, so we got uh, the Oculus Touch controllers. Perfect time to get an Oculus Rift when everybody's pissed off at Palmer Lucky mm. and nobody's gonna be releasing games for it. <laughs> but anyways, so here you go. It's $199. It's gonna ship on December 6th. Well, yeah. And that is 199 uh, American. American, and they also have a package out that's then uh, 899, no 799 American, which then would be about a thousand bucks Canadian, likely. Yeah, but that's so, if you don't have a, that thing already. Right, but a thousand dollars just for a headset and two controllers. And two controllers the... and and three sensors that you got to put in your room. So that it it's, this this basically makes it like a, a, a like a whole room VR thing a like a, yeah. a vibe yeah yeah uh, room scale is what they call it yeah I get that but it's a lot of money because mm -hmm. you still need like a six seven hundred dollar compute well I guess I'm looking at Canadian dollars seven hundred dollar or so computer to actually run the thing so you're looking at seventeen hundred dollars minimum to actually get that to work it's expensive That's and again sure. that is canadian dollars but the canadian ruble is not doing so well here i'm gonna show you my skype right now show you what it sh what it's telling me yeah okay here you go it says skype can't connect and it doesn't tell you any reason why or anything it's just eh, we can't we don't know what's going on we, you know, pff, can't connect oh well <laughs> i'm it's fine. It's just a, it's just a login screen, and it literally just says yeah. Skype can't connect. Thanks. That's a great explanation. 
<laughs> yep. Uh, hey, Jade Empire is coming out on iOS. Play on yeah. the phone. Um, Jade Empire, great game. Great, great game done by BioWare. Yes. It's 10, 12, 13, 14 years old or something like that. So does anyone really give a shit that it's on iOS? Looking at it being played on iOS, though, like they put work on it. Like you, could, like to select yeah. who you're attacking. You know how you you had to push like the the. I think it was the triggers, right? To to highlight who you, you were cycling between your targets when you were fighting multiple dudes. I think you were pushing likely the the. the the yeah, there was an auto lock on it, but yeah. Uh, and in this game, you're you're literally just tapping who you want to attack. So it's like I want to kill this guy, and then you so go, you boom, tap. Boom. But then, how do you actually attack? Because uh, that was an actual action RPG. So it's you like got it's a lot of swiping and... on the right side. So uh, different moves on, and then on the left side, it's a it's like an analog stick. It's like a turned other a game. great fucking game into a Wii game. Thanks. Going no, up. no, the phone is better than a Wii. Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You can play real games on the phone. Can't do that on the <laughs> Alright. Um, the Mini Ness. It's out November 11th, I want to say. That's Remembrance Day, isn't it? it yes. Now, is the, I remember there being... I guess one of these was being released in North America and one of them was being released in Japan. Oh well, yeah, the Famicom. There, there were two different. of them. Yes, it's, it's the same yes. thing. Okay. It's just it's, it looks different. Well, there they were different games and stuff like that. Too. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because Japan they they don't give no yeah. shits about some of the games we got. I, I don't yeah. know how big they are into Contra over there. It's a Japanese game, but I mean, are they really that into it? I don't. Are they like into Arnold Schwarzenegger action movies and stuff over there? <laughs> I have no idea. If they are, then yes, they're into Contra. That's the answer. Like they're into Contra. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't think quite the same way the U.S. was, but yeah, like there is definitely a. I guess so. A Hideo Kojima is pretty much into that shit exclusively. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, so the reason I brought up the Mini Ness is uh, they they went around with it uh, at, at local or local, at various press places, and they showed off how it looks, and uh, it looks better than a Wii U does running these Nintendo games. Like the the color palette looks better. It doesn't look washed out. The sound is better. Just fucking what the fuck, like the Wii yeah. game, the Wii sh you should be able to run Nintendo games perfectly fine, but hey, I mean whatever. The, the, my one problem with this thing is that it, it it the trollers are not wireless and the cables are gonna be short as fuck. Do you know why I know that? Because they're the same cables that you plug into the bottom of that Wii remote. It's the same fucking length. It's gonna be. They're not gonna oh, put a longer cable on that thing. So the issue that I have with it is that it's not virtual console based so that you buy what you buy and mm -hmm. you get what you get yep. you can't get anything more that's kind of just bullshit to me of like in today's day and age you easily could put in a wireless something or an ethernet cable and just then connect it like i don't get that at all oh, I, i'm with you too but for the price i'm not really gonna complain well, <laughs> i don't know how much it is but it's this is something i would a game. buy anyways so it's two dollars a game and there's 30 games? Yes. So it's 60 bucks. 60 That's... bucks for one controller and the system. That's not bad. It's it's not bad. It's a good little it's gift that you can get a, a, a somebody for Christmas. It's because no, nobody who actually has a fucking Wii... If you have a Wii U and you get this, fuck, what the fuck? You don't have a computer yes. you can play these fucking games on? Like, yeah, yes. That's what, kind of where I see it, <laughs> but yeah, that... But doing that is somewhat not. Like, but dude, I can get a Nintendo disc. controller and plug it in a little tiny thing beside my. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, go to Amazon and buy <laughs> one for twelve bucks. Yeah, I know you can just. Get and it would be wireless, likely. You mm -hmm. can probably get a wireless one for twenty. Yeah, that, uh, honestly, that's my biggest pet peeve with that thing is that the, the controllers are fucking wired. It's really stupid. Yeah. Everything else, like yeah, like you can't download your own games, but I, I can let that go with the price. It, it's it's pretty low. Uh, Sixty bucks for fucking. That I would buy that little thing alone, even if it didn't work. If it was just like a little toy, like here's a little ten dollar thing. Mm. It looks like a NES. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Put that on my now, shelf. What would be cool is if <laughs> they had the digital ones loaded in, but they actually gave you a slot to plug in, like if you had a con uh, a cartridge to actually plug it in and mm -hmm. play that as well on top of it. Uh, there's I'm a lot sure of solutions lot of for that right now that you could just go with. Anyways. I know, but like, why not just because. 
then it'd be like, oh, I can play my fucking Super Mario 3s, man. Uh, I think a reason that Nintendo is not doing that either is there's not a lot of money in it for them. It's like, yeah, they'll sell the system, but then where do you buy the, the, yeah. the cartridges? Like, the are they going to well, make more cartridges? Who the fuck's who's buying this anyways? People who fucking probably already have a room full of fucking cartridges. Mm, I don't know about that. It, I don't know about that. I have fucking no, but, cartridges well, but, right up there. I, it's, I, I, I'm not going to buy this. You know, but it would be the only person who's really going to buy this is the person that's the collector. No, no, so the, the collectors are not buying buy this. this. This is this is people that are who's in their thirties. This, this, this is somebody that's like thirty nine who hasn't played games in a while. He's like, dude, Tecmo Bulls on this thing, fucking a. And then they go buy it and they play football for a little bit, and then they're like, good stuff. I, <laughs> that's who's gonna buy I this. There's, nobody that. is nobody. No, dude. No, nobody, they're not even gonna know what the fuck this thing is. Is it on the news for them to even know what this thing is? Dude, everybody was freaking out about this thing. When it was first announced. Like, who's everybody? Like, people who don't really play games. Like, p- Nintendo people. It, th- th- there's no collector out there so that Nintendo is going to buy this. There's no collector oh, that's right, going to buy Nintendo this. Makes Dude, because they already have their system beside the fucking TV with all their ch- cartridges, and they can play it right now. And they, they probably have a Nintendo but th- that's, that's modded. the issue, is the NES is so fucked up but that that's the you thing. have to go... No, you don't. No, you don't. And try to stick it in. Anybody who is a collector that really cares has a Nintendo that is fucking modded where the teeth actually touch the fucking thing and you have to pull the shit out of it to actually get it out of there. That's people who who that collect. And then on top of that, they probably have another system that is actually meant to like HDFI and just plug in straight HDMI into a, a system already anyways. Like there's a lot of those things right now. And they're not as well, shitty as I the know Retron my friend, 5. I have a friend that actually has a Mint NES and a Mint Super NES. They're not hooked up. They're, not, they're in a box in his fucking closet. But he's not going to know what the fuck this thing is. Is all I'm like. He's not somebody who follows anything about gaming. He's not anyone. Oh, but, but somebody's gonna has... see it, dude. It's gonna be Christmas time, and somebody's gonna tell him about it. He's gonna be like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, but this you're Nintendo. gonna get go to Toys R Us to get this thing. Like, I, is, is this thing at Walmart? Is this thing at Target? Is yeah, this of course thing it at... will be. And I'm, I'm a hundred percent. It's gonna be at Toys R Us. A hundred percent. You know, but who the fuck forty years old goes to Toys R Us? No, no, but it's gonna be at other places. I don't. I don't know where they're gonna sell it. They could literally sell yeah, know, this thing anywhere, anywhere, and people are gonna be, just look at it and be, ah, oh, sixty bucks. Why well, not? I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not saying you, man. Like I, this, I know, we but have it's just systems. stupid. That I I play Nintendo games on my Vita. Like fuck, getting a. Anyways. <laughs> I I honestly find playing Nintendo games difficult. What, just what? because the, meaning like the controls. Like, there are only a handful of games that actually have good, proper reaction time controls and whatever. Like, the Super NES, I think, was probably, like, the golden age of gaming. Like, You're crazy. Some of the best games. You're crazy. That's ridiculous. Not really. Super Nintendo. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more shittier Nintendo, Super Nintendo games that are unresponsive. I can name a few right off the bat. Not even thinking. Like, outside of the Mega Man <laughs> games and... The Super Mario games, I don't like. There's just RC Pro Am. I don't know. That's a pretty good game. That's responsive. I, I can't really think of Nintendo games that are have sh- like shitty unresponsive controls. The Super Nintendo has a lot of that. Just yeah, they tried to. But hard. there's also a lot of. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other like. I just remember playing Excite Bike and shit, and that just was very wacky. Yeah, but Excite like, Bike came re- out in I guess 86. I replayed it. Like, I know, I know, I know. But I just replayed <laughs> it, and it's like, what the fuck? This is no, not Excite what I remember. No, Excite not good. Excite Bike is... Th- you play that game for five minutes, and you go like, hmm. Yep. And then you jump yeah. over jumps, and that's it. That's good stuff. Yeah, and then like 1942 <laughs> and all that. Th- like, it just didn't seem as crisp as I remember. Oh, the problem with 1942 is that the arcade game is just better. Like, uh, yes. Then yes. Then that yes. Nintendo... The Nintendo version, I don't like it because of the sounds. I just... I, I can't... So we are back. Uh, the weekly regular crash there. It's it's weird how it only does it one time, and then I restart it, and then it's fine, and then we can keep going the rest of the show. It's I, I don't know. Although I did turn off my fan from the outside, and it, it was getting pretty hot in here, so I don't know if that had anything to do with that. 
Anyways, uh, uh, that's enough talking about Nintendo. Enough talking mm. about Nintendo. Uh, Hideo Kojima uh, was at TGS, and he was talking about Metal Gear Survive. I'm pretty sure we already brought that up a few weeks ago. He Basically, his opinion is that he had nothing to do with that game. He doesn't know why Metal mm. Gear would have zombies, and that's pretty much what he said. <laughs> Just like I don't, I don't get it. It's supposed to be like a, a political thriller. Where what? There's no room for zombies in this. That's it's pretty something like that. He said. Anyways. Yeah. No. So now the controversy is that all those videos are being deleted from the internet. Mm. They're all of him erased. saying that. Yes. Yep. That's a little strange. The but... the full conference is being deleted. Like it was like a forty minute thing on stage of him just talking and stuff. And that whole thing mm. is gone. So a lot of people are saying that it's uh, Konami taking that shit down. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what legal right they have to do that, but may- maybe they have a like a, a clause in his contract where he can't speak about anything Metal Gear related for a few years or something, or maybe he can't mention Konami, or who knows. That's a pretty fucked up contract, if that is what it is, but... <laughs> Yes. Well, I don't know. He was allowed to go work for another studio, so he didn't have a non-compete. That would be weird to have a no talk, no yeah. don't talk about us. Well, actually, you know that isn't weird. Now that's pretty common. Especially well, no, no. The thing you can't talk about anything you worked on, yes, or yes. something like that. Not something you had nothing to do with. If you had nothing to do with it, it's just then your personal opinion yeah. on whatever the and, hell. And the, and what he just... said wasn't even that bad. Yeah, it's just why the hell would they have zombies in Metal Gear? Yeah. Why would they have zombies in Metal Gear? <laughs> I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, did you ever play the first Gravity Rush? I don't think so. Think, the name definitely sounds familiar, I but I, played I don't it think I ever played it. On the Vita? Was was that a Vita game? Well, I want to say that was a Vita game. Anyways, Likely was. That, that game was supposed to come out this year. It's getting delayed to January 20th of next year now. And uh, the DLC that was planned to be paid on it, well, it's going to be free. So there you go. Mm. Uh, the second one looks uh, more uh, like cartoony than the first one, I guess, which is weird because the first one was kind of cartoony too, but definitely looks a little bit different. Hey, Voodoo Vince it is coming. Was, oh, it was, yeah. It was on the Vita. Mm-hmm. I, that might have been a launch title for the Vita because what, what uh, other game came out after the release like there was like two games that came out after that thing it <laughs> came out on June 12th of 12 the Vita is man the Vita is old didn't realize it's that old hey did you hear about Voodoo Vince there's a remaster coming Yes. Uh, <laughs> was this not mentioned at uh, E3 for a Kickstarter? No, no, because that's where this is straight up just a dude that's like uh, he he's he's working on this alone. He worked on this alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like the one of the guys who I worked on the Voodoo original. Vince. No, you okay, might no, be thinking Voodoo, about different what game. was that? What was that? Yeah, different oh, game. are you thinking about Shenmue? That's the only one I can think of that had the Kickstarter no. lately. Um, <laughs> it was a double fine game is what I'm thinking. Mm, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess you could see how... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Psychonauts? Is that what you're... Th- did they kickstart a no. Psychonauts thing? No. Hmm. Then I, I have no There idea. is a new... Or Psychonauts is being re-released or something as well, or it was yeah, just re-released. Yeah, and there's like... Is, are they doing like a, a VR game for it, too? Yes, I think that's what it is. It's a VR something with it. Yeah. Anyways, Vo- no, Voodoo Vince is that Xbox original game that was yeah. uh, not yeah. that popular because it was on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, oh, I, I saw the cover art and I remember what it is. It wasn't bad. It was... I, re- I played th- I played this game along with like Blinks the Cat and like those games weren't amazing, yeah. but they were they were all, all right for the time. The, I thought Blinks was pretty good. The, the problem with those two games is that they were on the fucking Xbox. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I thought I played I actually own Blinks. It's up there somewhere. Um, yeah, I thought it was actually a pretty good game. It had its problems. It yeah, I don't know for perfect, sure, but the but concept yeah, of good. time and all that type of shit was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Like the way they actually had you go through time and you could have yeah multiple versions. Is like Braid one 
or point five or something like that type thing. I'm remembering another cutesy game around this time. The Psychonauts never came to consoles, did it? It was console, I thought. Huh. It's on the Xbox. Okay, all right. Well, that, I might be thinking about that too then. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, Voodoo Vince. It, it looks all right. I was going to show a video, but I don't want to explode my PC, so I'm, I just I didn't bother loading anything up. And uh, GTA Online's Bikers update is now online. That looks interesting. I don't uh, I could remember. See, if you played online, GTA Online, I could maybe get you back into it for a bit, but... Well, the thing someone about who GTA hasn't 5, played do, it, I don't. Do you remember if when you were on a bike, were you always able to kick things? Because I don't remember being able to kick things off of a bike, and now neither do I. It, it, this this whole video is just about kicking stuff from a bike, so you like can like road rash people. Mm. It looks okay. that like that looks pretty fun. I've seen a few gifs of uh, people getting kicked, like a pedestrian just doo 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 walking by, and then you just kick him, and then he fucking flies into the <laughs> river. That's like written ne nearby. It's pretty all right. Yeah. It's pretty all right. Uh, so yeah, I guess motorcycles. Uh, yeah, I guess they added that kick feature because I've never seen that in GTA before. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember it at all. But I again, I don't. I probably spent like all of forty five minutes on a bike, maybe. Out of well, not even forty, probably fifteen minutes. Honestly, on I don't a bike. even remember bikes being in GTA Five. <laughs> but I might be thinking about GTA Four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember being on a bike. I got, I grabbed a bike and went through, but I don't remember. Yeah, because GTA you know, Four patched. But I, I don't think I ever later. tried. I don't think I ever actually tried kicking or doing. It. I was yeah. just riding the fucking bike, trying to not to crash because I hate the fucking controls. Of the bikes weren't too too bad, but cars are fucking atrociously controlled on that. Uh, game. I liked how five controlled, uh, but you know what? I I I always think that four is the better game. Four was way better than five. Man, both of them are good games. Oh no, I just... like both. Hey, I like both, but four was better. It had a better story. It, it just everything was better about four. The the physics of the car, like everything, was better about four. Crashing shit in four was awesome. I don't know five just something was off about five. I like five. I like five a lot. the The actual gameplay of five and aiming at stuff was better. I thought, but like, uh, I still like four better. <laughs> uh, hey, MMA and wrestling news. That's where we're going into. I, I, I'll s stick uh, light on the wrestling stuff, but you know, well, I, I, I still have some wrestling stuff. Especially the news this week it is kind of interesting. Uh, did you hear about Ric Flair this week? He was in the news. Nope. Okay, so Ric Flair was on a podcast. I'm not sure if it was his own podcast or somebody else's podcast, but mm. either way, he said after the Halle Berry divorce from whoever it was back then, uh, it was a while ago, uh, that he had sex with her. That, that was the news this week. <laughs> and then Halle okay. Berry, so this ended in the best possible way. Woo, by the mm. way, woo, woo, everybody woo. All right, um, woo! So the best possible way this ended was she came out and said, I don't even fucking know who Ric Flair is. What the shit's going on? <laughs> so that's, that's how this story ended. <laughs> she was so fucking plastered she didn't know what she was doing. She just went after an old guy. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know how long ago this was. I guess yeah, he's, he's I don't even know who... Old always been old yeah. this guy yeah i think i, I don't like in even know who they would be talking about yeah yeah as, as well i go this was like at the, Halle berry's been married like three or four times as she not so i don't even know i would say that this was at the height of rick flair but like wh what was the height of rick flair he's kind of been all over the goddamn no, place no no well, 90 98 when 98 was like a late wcw rick flair like that's well no because wcw 98 that's pretty that was like heyday of wrestling i don't know yeah uh, they didn't use Ric Flair that good during that time. They didn't no, use anybody no. good in WCW, in my opinion. But anyways. Oh, and uh, yeah, no. <laughs> WCW started going downhill very quickly at that point in time. Oh, yeah. The, as soon as they hit the top, it was like, well, yeah. we're going down. Oh, in 98, yeah, 90, 99 and 2000, that's when it was really like, ugh. 98 was still yeah. okay. It was still like, oh, I don't know, WO, people are joining, and it's pretty stupid. They should probably stop doing that. But And then it just Yeah, really they stupid. never did. <laughs> no, they never stopped. Never. Everybody joined. 
then then by the time the one guy didn't join, it was too late. It's like, yay, DDP didn't yeah. do it. Fuck. Oh, well, who cares? Everybody's already doing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brie Bella is pregnant. Uh, yeah, that's that's a that she used to wrestle, yeah. and now she's on Total Bellas, which is a reality show. Uh, Luke Harper's back. He he's been gone for a long time. Uh, PJ Black. Uh, he was doing some base jumping and he b- broke both of his ankles, so he's not gonna be wrestling for a while. Uh, Jamie Noble. He was a wrestler for WWE for a while, but now he's a producer there. Uh, he got stabbed twice going home. He was going home, and uh, apparently he got accused of cutting off somebody. And uh, two dudes oh. came out of the car. Sorry. Road uh, rage. Yes, road nice. rage. Yes, two dudes came out of the car. Uh, there was a little bit of hustling and tussling around and tumbling, and then I guess he got stabbed after that. He he was he was apologetic at first, and but they didn't give a fuck. So as soon as they did, as they, as he saw that they didn't give a fuck, he started attacking them. But then a dude came out of the truck and dead stabbed him. So, you know, mm. you can only do so much when like there's like three or four dudes after you, <laughs> and they got a knife. So yeah, he's he got stabbed in the lung and the spine. I I, I don't know how he's doing right now, but that that doesn't sound good. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Uh, Del Rio also got in a similar incident, but. It's hmm. This is a weird one because the story changed a few times. Apparently, I, I don't really believe that. I don't think it, it changed too much. But here's the story. He got in a fender bender on Sunday, and he was with his girlfriend Paige, which is a WWE wrestler at Del Rio, no longer with WWE. Uh, Paige is injured. She hasn't been there a long time, but she, she's still signed. Uh, so both vehicles stopped, uh, and a guy just immediately stabbed him. Like after the fender bender, I don't even really know exactly what happened, but they got a fender bender and then stabbed immediately. Uh, Del Rio managed to get the knife away. Uh, Paige also got involved. Apparently, she jumped on his back or something while uh, he was wrestling the knife away. And uh, yeah, after he got the knife away, he managed to take him down. He probably beat him up or something, and then checked on Paige. And then by that that time, he ran away. So hey, while all this stuff was going on, Del Rio's phone broke. That's the story. That's how it goes. So he couldn't co- contact the company he was working for, AAA, which is uh, wrestling in Mexico. So mm. all this happened, and then he went to the hospital. The local police don't really know what happened, which is strange, because if he went to the hospital, you would think that the police would be notified of a stabbing. But mm. um, no, no, poli- no local police knew of this story. And it's just weird that he- they didn't call anybody. Like, you'd... Like, Paige was there. She would have a phone. No, both phones broke. Uh, it's, it's it's a weird story. It's a weird story. And Del, Del Rio is apparently working WCPW tonight, which is in Europe. So it, it's 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 a weird story. If he got stabbed on Sunday, legit, and then he's working tonight, that's only like five days. Pretty sure it's not not a good idea. Anyways. <laughs> There's a rumor going around, too, that WWE bought the TNA tape library, which mm. is an interesting news because TNA last week, last Sunday, they had a pay-per-view. And right before the pay-per-view started, we like we, we didn't even know if it was going to happen or not because we, we knew yeah. that they were in money troubles. So it happened and they didn't announce who bought it. They don't know. We don't know if there's new ownership. And it seems like there's not new ownership. So it's if, if this story is true... WB is technically funding TNA right now. It's not going to last very long, but they're, ta- they're they are funding TNA right now <laughs> with the, that money from the tape library. If I had to guess, they probably mm. got a million dollars for it because it's it's TNA. Mm. Probably not worth more than that. Uh, and then Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar seems like it's all but confirmed for Survivor Series in Toronto. Good stuff. So I get to go see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, the classic from WrestleMania tw- 28, was it? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Where Stone Cold Steve Austin officiated. And, uh, so that match was very bad because those two guys were leaving and everybody knew that they were leaving. Brock Lesnar mm-hmm. wanted to do NFL and Goldberg was just done. His contract was done. So he was leaving. So mm-hmm. they just shoved Stone Cold in there. They had a terrible match and then Stone Cold gave the stunner to both of them and everybody's like yay at the end 
man, that was a terrible match. So I'm sure it's going to be great now that they're 12 years older and it's going to happen in Survivor Series <laughs> in Toronto. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be there. It's going to be great. <laughs> sure, well. Yeah, and I have a recaps for events of wrestling, but I'm not going to go through that. Uh, hey, UFC 206, the Toronto card. It's shaping up. There's some fights that got announced, uh, mainly Daniel Cormier versus Anthony Johnson for the lightweight mm. or light heavyweight championship. Sorry. Heavyweight, yeah. Yes. That fight is pretty crazy. I, I like the first fight, and I think that the second fight is going to be even crazier. So I don't know if Cormier could uh, hold him down like he did in the first fight. Yeah. But well, well the, the issue is that Johnson blew his load after he knocked him over. Mm -hmm. But yes. And again, like just because it was the first time he was fighting for the belt, he kind of just did something. He over exerted himself and then you can't really do that against Cormier. Nope. For and sure. not finish him. Oh, no, that's that was the problem. He went he went in for the finish. Yeah. And he didn't do it. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a few other fights here. Valerie Letourneau, Canadian, versus uh, Pollyanna Botello. I don't, I don't know who that is, so I'll just go with uh, Valerie. I saw her. Which I think she fought in Ottawa when they were here. I want to say she was on the card. Uh, Rustam Habilov versus uh, Jason Sago. Man, I haven't seen Jason on a fight card in a long time. I, I wonder... When the name sounds face. familiar, but I do not know his face. I think he's American, like, like and he m might have been on one of the Tufts. I he's don't. Canadian. Oh, he's Canadian. Yeah, Bolton, Ontario is where he lives. So he might have been on the Tuft that was Canadians versus Europe then, is what I'm thinking. Maybe. Canada versus Europe. Yeah. The, 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 Australia? Or whatever the hell it was. Whatever the Canadian tough season was, <laughs> that season was actually good. Like, yeah, out, out of the recent toughs, was. no, he's he's. Been, I've I've definitely heard his name. He's been around for a while. No, he was not on the tough smashes or not the smashes. Sorry, um, whatever the fuck, Canada versus Australia was. Because mm -hmm. Canada uh, just horribly dominated. Like, yes, Cote just fucking. Well, talking about dominant tough thing. Canadian fighters, uh, Olivier. Obey Merci, he's uh, versus uh, Drew Dober. That's going to be a good fight because Mercier is, is jacked. He he always That's looks Quebec ready to fight. Kid, right? Yes, yes. Okay. He was on the fucking. He tough. was on tough, yes. Canada. Yeah. Uh, then he John, won, did he? No. Mm, no, no, he did not win, but he, he looked made it very to the good. finals and lost. Okay, yeah. 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 He lost to, uh, uh, what was his face? Uh, the other well the other canadian obviously well, yeah. it's all canadians yeah. in the uh, finale <laughs> was it pretty boy was it pretty boy that was in the finals was it, it was, the, was the, it the other dude no 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 he, the, he was in welterweight the pretty boy guy spartan whatever the hell is uh, middleweight mm, okay different weight okay yeah um okay so i think it was blue blue eyed okay, dude, was just, right bald maybe was it was it him that was in the I don't remember. I don't, that's too uh, long. Chad, ago. Chad Laprise. Rose? Yeah, Chad Laprise. Yes, that's yeah, yes. French. Blue, blue eyed, blue eyed ball dude. That's exactly what I was thinking yes, of. Yes. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. I didn't. Know, I didn't remember his name, but yeah, him. No, he's he's actually his, his UFC career is not bad. I actually like him. Uh, I haven't post -tough. seen much of him recently. Uh, he he fought not too long ago. Might have even been in yeah. Ottawa. Mm, no. No. It was, oh man, it wasn't too long ago, though. It was on some undercard of some event not too long ago. Uh, talking about Canadians, John McDessey is also on the uh, Toronto card versus Lando Veneta. And Veneta made his debut short notice against, oh, oh who was it? Oh, man. I, f I, I, I don't remember, but he was the main event. He made his debut in the main event, short notice. Oh, I'm, I'm going to look him up right now, I guess. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to look him up. Either way, he, he his debut was really good in the UFC. And John McDessey, he's a proven Canadian. 
No, yeah, so, John McDessie's, yeah. But I think this fight's going to be good because Veneta, uh, his last fight, whatever it was, it was fucking crazy. He, he, he also gave out his load in the first round in that fight, whoever it was against. Mm. Uh, and then a flyweight fight between Zach Makovsky versus John Moraga. Moraga's Canadian, too. There you go. A lot of Canadians. Oh, well, Lepre uh, won his last one and then lost a split decision against Ross Pearson. And then lost. It got knocked out in the first round by Francisco Tinaldo. Yeah. He's kind of been on and off. Oh, no. I, yeah, I'm not saying that he's on fire. I just, I like his fights. <laughs> mm. uh, so GSP is saying right now that his old contract is null and void. Because the old contract would let him use whatever sponsor he wants. But if they won't let him do that, then he's saying that contract doesn't exist anymore, so he can go fight wherever right. he wants. But the UFC is disputing that. <laughs> so uh, we'll see where all these uh, negotiations go. Because I, I, whatever, he's probably going to fight. Well, but the thing, UFC, if, but... if his contract does specify he can use any sponsor he wants, then and the UFC is not letting him, then he has legal rights to be able to... Like, you'd probably have to go through the court or something yes, like that. Yes. But it would likely mean that the contract now would be void, yep, which I, either means he'll sign a new contract with the UFC or he can go over where the fuck he wants. Yeah, and this is a fighter that can afford to do that. He can go like, yeah, I'll pay my lawyers to do this for a little bit because I, I can. Yeah. So why not? Uh, I still and think it, he's going to fight in Toronto. Be pretty quick. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure you just use that as like, oh, shit to the UFC going, yeah. uh, okay, he actually could do this. Maybe we <laughs> should just talk to him. Yep. They but. should just give him extra money. Like, what the fuck's the point? They're going to make so much more money with him on that card. The issue is the Reebok deal is fucking horrible for the fighters. It's then fucking don't, horrible. Then don't do the, like, the Reebok deal. Who cares? Just give him more money on top of that. Like, they've been doing. I, well, that, with, but for every other fucking fighter. Yeah, for every. you're uh, not yes, GSP, 100%. 100%. You're GSP or, uh, or Connor. Because uh, Mc McGregor, yeah, like, like that would have makes... to be hurting Connor as well. McGregor makes three million on every fight, minimum. Uh, just just with the salary, just with the salary, not I don't with the know sponsorship. If that was with winning bonus or not? I don't know if that was with. Winning no, no, that bonus. was no. It was base. That pay, was just three million. three million flat. It yes, was okay. Yes, and Nate Diaz got two million flat. And then it, it, yeah, well. Connor also has it written in his contract that he gets the certain percentage of pay-per-views as well. Oh so. yes, 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 for sure. When and I think most, I think if you're a champion, you get that too. Right, but it also depends on what your percentage is. Mm -hmm. His is probably the mm -hmm. highest in the UFC. For sure. Oh, and G I'm sure when GSP comes back, it, or even when he was fighting GSP, his his pay-per-view. Just were when high. he was fighting, his were probably the highest. Yes, not not just his numbers, but the percentage he gets from those numbers as well. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure he was the highest when he was fighting. For sure. Because he, he he was the biggest draw at that point in time by a shit ton. Yeah. Well, and, and a big reason why GSP was such a big draw back then too is because he had like opponents. He had dudes where yes. you could go like, hey, the look at that guy. He really hates him. He's going to kick his ass. It was and still is fucking insane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I really do think they need to make a 65 and 75 division, like a 165 and a 175 division, and then have that 10-pound um, jump opposed to the 15-pound gap between those ones because it's just there's so many fucking murderers in the welterweight division, and a lot of them could go up to 75 and a lot of them probably could go down to 75 or 65. And then you'd even have a couple of 55ers going up to 65, like uh, Cowboy and whatnot. Because Cowboy at 65, holy shit, that's pretty fucked up. But Yeah, yeah. you could say that about a lot of weights. They could add a yeah, lot of weights. Yeah. Especially, well, especially when they're saying like it, shit like we don't want weight cutting and we want it to be safe and blah 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 and you know, no no syringes. It, uh, you saw that in UFC, like that's what that's well, what they're saying. That's they they are they are saying that. I th well, I thought the no IV thing was from the um, athletic commissions. 
That was USADA. It was USADA? Yeah. Well, I, I do remember, like, the issue with the USADA thing was that if you, okay, yeah. Because USADA, there's the plastic in of the IV, whatever, they take that as that you could be blood doping, I guess. Because mm-hmm. um, they just measure that p- plastic shit parts per million and no, well, figure it out, oh, that, you used an IV. That's in. the whole point of weight classes, right? Is that we want to be safe and blah, 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 blah. But like, there's so many ways around that. that and, and oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> the, for sure. The, the event well, Especially weekend, with Connor fighting at 45, man. Like he walks around at 168, 170. Well, so he, yeah, he's at, fighting least he, at, 45. at least he fucking made fucking 145. The week, this yes. weekend, there's three fighters that didn't oh, make the yes, fucking yes, weight and yes, they were all yes. fighting. And one of them was fucking, holy shit, he missed by fucking... Six and a half pounds. Holy fuck, bricks. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. And he. he oh, anyways, we'll talk about that soon when we actually talk about that event. Uh, so Josh, Josh, some man, he he was in terrible trouble this past Sunday, and uh, he actually didn't make it. He was in a coma. Uh, his friend actually died uh, the night of, and we still don't know all the full details. But uh, overdose is apparently what happened. But again, we don't really know too much information. But mm. Josh Shaman was on uh, one of the toughs, one of the best seasons of toughs. Didn't he, he, he? Wasn't he the one that got kicked by Uriah Hall? Or mm, maybe not. Maybe no. not. No, no. Josh it Shaman, may have been that season. He, it was that season. It, it was he, definitely that, that season. That guy was like Alex or something. Yeah, no, no. He that was definitely that was like season Alex though. But yeah, no, I'm misremembering. But uh, yeah, he, he was only 28 and. Uh, he, he was pretty active online too. He posted on okay, um, okay, Bloody okay. Elbow. He, this guy was the one who was supposed to be like the biggest threat to Hall in that mm. season. Mm-hmm. Okay. I definitely remember a connection between those two <laughs> on, on that season. But yeah, no, uh, pretty pretty shitty. Yeah, because he talked about a story that he had to have a vein from his leg removed and done something with i can't remember what the story was entirely but he had some fucked up shit happen to him and then that, that was the season with the guy that his dad died too right that was yeah that was that season because that was the live one then he he couldn't that was no like, no that was the raya hall season wasn't live wasn't it um that was michael chiesa yes his dad yes. died and then mm-hmm. he went on to yes. win it and that was different seasons. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, because I think that was the season right after. And that season, they filmed it all in 24 um, frames. That was that, that season looked weird. The Michael Chiesa one was the had that crazy guy that was like, let me hit me. Or, well, I oh, yeah, the, blonde, the, 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 fucking, the pink haired yeah, dude. He got fucking, yeah, he got fucking <laughs> smashed at one point. He was like, let me bang, man. Let me bang. <laughs> that dude was crazy. Like... Uh, oh yeah, I could see him doing some pretty evil shit <laughs> when he's not in the house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was that season. Oh uh, yeah, no, it Maybe was. Not. It was. I think it was. What? The, I think that was the Uriah Hall. There's season. been so many fucking seasons that I. I that oh no, yeah, no. Er, everything USC for me kind of blends together now. Uh, so yeah, like I said, three fighters missed weight at this UFC Portland last weekend. Uh, John Lineker was the main event. He missed by 0.5. Yeah, they say that they had a scale that he said he was 130. And then they got there and he was, oh, 135. Oh, well. Uh, that wasn't that bad, whatever. 0.5. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, it's no, not like that, professional, really... but but you right. should make it. You, sh- you should make it. Uh, yes. And then well, Alex no, Oliveira. He was 160 point, or 136.5. If, But like the whole one pound off thing, I think, is kind of stupid as well. But mm-hmm. Then Alex Oliveira. He missed by a lot and he was a co-main event. Yeah, versus that Will is Brooks. fucking insane. Mm-hmm. Like uh, that, that like I, uh, Lineker, I, I understand is just like it's a slight fuck up. Like it is unprofessional. It is this. It is that. But it, yeah. it is just a slight. Like, he could have cut that weight if likely. Like he wasn't well, so like on the floor. The rules, going, ah, the rules have changed since I, they did the morning weigh-ins, yeah. right? So they can't do that yeah. anymore. Right, I understand that, but like the thing, like that. It is just a slight like six and a half pounds, or I guess it would be five and a half pounds to make. Yeah, and it's a it's a tough spot five, for fucking six. Will Will fucking Brooks because like what does he do? Brooks, not fight yeah, and then not get money, or fight and then get yeah. the money? Like you're gonna fucking fight. Like that is just ridiculous. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and oh, okay, uh-huh. we'll talk about that when we actually get to yeah. the card because there's some other stuff connected to this that's fucking yeah. ridiculous. And uh, Hakron, Hakron Diaz also missed weight. Uh, I think it was uh, by a pound as well. So that's okay. that's ridiculous. People should be making yeah, catch fucking weight. Yeah. Come on, Wait, he was forty eight. Oh, so like five. So, so it like actually three was pounds. Two, pounds. two, two. Yeah, I guess well, two. Because you're two. You're allowed one. So you're allowed one. Two and a half. Yeah. The two yeah. and a half pounds. That's a fair bit too. Did you hear the big news of today? This this just happened before the show. Um, which article are we on? Because I okay, well, didn't t- realize. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm just I'm just, I'm asking if you've heard of big news today. <laughs> well, the um. G, uh, BJ getting hurt. And oh well, yeah. Event. Okay, I wouldn't say that's the biggest because that's not my biggest yeah. news. That's probably well, that's the biggest I... though. That is probably the biggest. Yes, because <laughs> it's like, a whole fucking card me canceled. Going, Fuck, I want to see Penn. Yeah, well, and the whole, mm, whole like I, I don't want to see Penn. I don't want to see Penn at all. No, dude, <laughs> Penn at Jackson's is what I want to fucking see. Oh right, well, he would be is improved. Jackson's? Yes, I totally agree with that. But I, uh, uh, fuck it, I don't know about BJ Penn Jackson's, anymore. Man, I want to see. I wanted to see that ten years ago. Seriously, I wanted to see that 10 years ago, and then it, uh, it happened, and then it just got canceled, and then got canceled like, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. No, uh, dude, like, uh, he's gonna be 40 ever since he was on he Tough, fight. ever since he's been on Tough, it's been fucking downhill for BJ Penn. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> well, that was his last fight against Edgar. Oh, no, 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 sorry. The first Tough, where he was against... Uh, oh. Like, um, uh, oh. Jens Pulver? Uh, yeah, Jens Pulver, yes. <laughs> Yes. No way. What, he won the belt after that. Uh, it was, uh, went, but then he got destroyed by GSP, and it was, it was all nasty after that. that. Yes, but, <laughs> but I, 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 I love was a G- fucking look, wrecking machine. I love BJ Penn, but I, uh, I don't know if I want to see BJ Penn anymore. I, I, I was. Just, I'm just like, <laughs> yes, I, I get what you're saying, but BJ Penn at fucking Jackson's, I just want. I oh. I wanted it like five or eight years ago, man. But no, he didn't do it until now. And now he's getting hurt. And I can't remember what the, uh, he used an IV or something like that. So he was disqualified for a couple of months. So they're like, saying that fuck. they couldn't find an opponent for Lamas, which I kind of think is yeah. bullshit. I, I actually think they canceled this event because it wasn't selling too good in, in the Philippines anyways. Mm-hmm. So they're just like, ah, let's cut yeah. our losses right now and let's not go there. Because yeah. that was fucking I, not, happening. Dude, that was happening in less than a week. And they only sold 3,000 tickets, apparently, so, something like that. And they were doing a huge arena there, so. Oh, shit. Okay. So it wasn't selling too well. So that, yeah, in combination. So, they, yeah, they just wouldn't. Yeah. I'm sure they could have made up, like, a lot of events just sell well, out. The, I'm like sure Lamas, so. or I, not Lamas, sorry. Mm-hmm. But, um, BJ? Who was Penn fighting? Lamas, yeah. Who was Pe- It was Lamas? Yeah, yeah, Ricardo Lamas. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he would have just taken pretty much any fight. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't see him backing out of a fight. No. no. Okay. I, I was kind of looking forward to this event just because it was in Manila, but hey, whatever. I'm sure they'll go next year. No, anyways, my big story of this week is fucking Northcutt is going to fight Gaul. Gaul? <laughs> yeah, at UFC well, on I, Fox I saw you 22. had the two things there, but... Yeah. Um, yeah... December seventeenth. That's this is the only fight announced for this card so far. Sacramento, ESPN now, that, reported is the, that. Is the thing is is this the main event? Mm, probably not, but it's the only fight announced so yeah. far, and it, it's. Yeah, I know that's what I'm not. Buy your like, tickets if This is the main now. event. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. They don't deserve if to be the like main event. Oh, exactly. But and that's kind of like. It's a fucking Fox event. Just whatever. Who cares? Just put whoever it is. Whoever still, draws man, the most, the... put him on the top of the card. <laughs> yeah, well, Northcutt draws a lot. I don't entirely know why, but he draws a lot. And Gall now, did they say draw what two. this was at? Oh yes, one seventy. It is at one seventy. Okay. Yes, yes. So Northcutt is going up. Okay, and he's not a very big one seventy. No, but Gall's not very big either. He's bigger. Gull's He's bigger. Six, one or six two. Yeah, I know. Like Gall's pretty fucking tall, is the thing. Like he, he, I don't think Gall can make lightweight because he is fairly thick and tall. Um, but uh, either way, I'm I guess excited. North like five eleven or something like that. December seventeenth, so early Christmas. 
I'm yeah. declaring it yeah. right now. Early Christmas, right there. <laughs> I think that's probably Either the last. Way, that's I, probably the last card before Christmas too. If I had to guess, no. I think there's there's a pay per view event after that. Oh no, there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way because this, this is the seventeenth is. The, uh, the week before the 24th, which is, uh, you know, the 24th. <laughs> They're talking about a pay-per-view on the 24th. There, there's probably a pay-per-view on the, 30, the 30th or 31st. Maybe, okay, okay. That, it might be before the end of the year. Yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. No, but two. before Christmas, that's the last event right there. Unless they have one on Wednesday, which they should stop doing that because nobody watches fucking UFC mm -hmm. on Wednesdays. Hey guys, nobody watches your events on Wednesdays. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's one on the 30th. Is the one. Also, you should probably just put that event on the 31st, anyways. Because who yeah, that is fucking Friday. cares? Yeah, I know, I know, and that's gonna hurt that card just because it's on the 30th. Yeah, I, I understand that the 31st is fucking New Year's, but just make it, just do it earlier. Just make that event end at 10, and you'll do the same fucking numbers you do anyways. Yeah, but nope, nope. Because it does say it. It is two oh seven, so it's an actual. Yeah, paper no, paper it's paper. yep. Right, it. That's pretty fucked up. I know it's and it's just because it's on New Year's. They don't want to do a New Year's Eve stuff, and it's fine. Just put it earlier. Nobody's gonna care. No, I'm just curious on it because that's in Vegas. I wonder if, um, MGM would be using that arena for their own party or something. Maybe, but they could have booked it in advance if they really wanted to. They they have yeah, MGM is the fucking oh arena, I, so I how know you... I know, but I'm pr like I'm sure they wouldn't mind unless there's like a boxing fight that's bigger or something. <laughs> well, there's not gonna be a, unless it's Mayweather. There's not gonna be a boxing thing that's bigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> usually that event is like the biggest one of the year or one of the biggest ones yes. of the year, and I don't see that happening this year. It's probably going to be a, I, a timid card right there. I, I, because GSP no, and I do Toronto remember hearing that there was allegedly a fight happening on that card, and I can't remember who it was offhand. Well, just look it up. Just look. It, up. it won't even let me click on it. Well, just look up. Like on, I guess on I could Google. I could Google it, sure, but <laughs> I I don't know. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna use my newly uh, defaulted Bing search and see how this goes. Uh, T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, there's the T-Mobile Arena. So Ronda Rousey versus Nunez. Oh, possible. Hey, yeah, that could be all right. That would draw people. And again, if you put again, Ronda Rousey, wouldn't it be dude, on fucking Saturday? I know. If I you put Ronda that. Rousey on fucking New Year's Eve at ending at fucking ten, everybody is gonna watch that, and then everybody after yeah. that's gonna be like, "Yay! Now we're gonna celebrate the ball dropping." Where the fuck you do wherever you are? <laughs> Yay! Like it's so imagine. Yeah, that's all that I'm. I'm everybody what would I watch that fight on Saturday. Well, okay, I think it was that Nunez was gonna fight. Yeah, and then R Rousey and or someone else were the potential opponents. Um, Rousey could fight anybody right I, now. It doesn't matter. They could put her against yeah. anybody. People will uh, watch. <laughs> I honestly don't know if she should be fighting Nunez for the belt because she's been gone for so long. Yeah, but she was a so. champion for so long. The perfect but. fight. The perfect fight for fucking uh, Rousey Rouse right now is uh, Juliana Pena. Like it's it, it's the perfect fucking fight. It sells itself. You just show clips of the tough season where they were on each other, and you just show Juliana yeah. Pena winning, and you just show fucking R Ronda Rousey being, eh, I don't like this girl. Or... Yeah, she's yeah. winning, and it sells itself. Everybody's gonna watch it. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh. Like, oh, just the, do that well, fight. She would have a pretty good <laughs> chance of getting the next title shot any which way. So, the, But the thing is, I, I could see well, they, Pena maybe winning that fight, and maybe that's why they don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, but Pena would get the fight. Yes, and that, that's what I'm saying. This. That's what I'm saying. That Juliana Pena won't draw on her own, and that, that might be a reason why they don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Which is sad. It's sad. Because I love Juliana Pena, she, she, she she's my favorite lady in the whole UFC. She's fucking awesome. I, man, she's respectable. Uh, Joanna is pretty fucking crazy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I like Joanna too. But like the but, thing about Juliana is that she's respectable when she can be. But 
Like she's a legit yeah. thug and can fucking kick your ass and yeah, talk shit agreed. when she needs to. I, I really, Joy, Joy, she's Joy, fucking she's awesome. Crazy. That, oh, that is one crazy Polish bitch. Yeah, no, I, I love her oh, in a different crazy. way. I love her in a different way. Like I, I would, she's I would not, I don't even know if I would ask her for a hug. I'd just be like, hey, hey, how's, uh, yeah, how's I, it? Okay. I, I, I'm gonna step I, away now. Like, piss myself. Yeah, Juliana, I would, I would ask her for a hug. I, I love her. She's, she's cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, USC Fight Night, Portland. Um, so I kind of only watched this event. I, I watched the fights afterwards, but I, in terms of it watching live, I, I did not watch it. I only watched the last two fights. Okay, th- those are the two fights that I definitely. I look at the rest too. of the card, and when <laughs> I don't really give a shit. I started watching some of it, and I was just like, oh, you know what? Maybe not. But uh, some of the notable early fights, uh, Nate Marquardt defeated Tandem McCrory. He fucking destroyed him the whole two rounds, and then he just KO'd him in the second with a devastating head kick, I must say. It looked really good. He he knocked his head off of the cage. He was not out for a I'm while, too. Talking about head kicks, the fucking main <laughs> event. I don't quite understand <laughs> that one. Holy shit. This event as a whole was okay though. Like the few fights that I did watch. Yeah, no, like, yeah, I'm not. But it was just notable fighters, and then other shit was going on for me. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, Josh Berkman but, lost in the third to last fight in the night. Uh, that was kind of surprising. I was expecting Josh Berkman to beat this Zach Otow dude. That's for sure. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, Alex Oliveira versus Will Brooks. I. Will Brooks is a, is a really good fighter. It's just it's a shame that he had to basically fight a dude that was like basically thirty pounds bigger than him. <laughs> the next night, was it that so, much? No, because I think they restricted him to like a hundred and. So here's the fucked up thing: they let him fight, but they said you got to weigh yes. the night, the the day of the fight, and you got to weigh a certain amount. So if the if he was gonna weigh, oh. I think uh, up over a hundred and seventy pounds the next night, they weren't gonna let him fight. Huh. At all, so that's fucking wonky. So it's fucking ridiculous. You're saying it's okay to fight at 170 pounds at at what was it 155? Wait, wait. Or, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. And it was uh yeah uh, the my real problem with this fight is okay Oliveira won that's fine whatever he was he destroyed him with his size but then he fucking taunt he was taunting him the whole fucking fight after and then. He was so unapologetic in the press conference. He ah, oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch guy. the press conference. <laughs> he he did not give a shit about what he did. Well, I just saw that he was over five pounds over, and I just was just like, "Don't be fucking taunting yeah. when you're fucking five pounds over. Like, what are you doing?" Yeah. I get that you won. That's cool. Be like, yeah, I won. Happy. Woo. But like he was like, hey, I not. And he was like still down. He's like, ah. And like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. No, I saw that like in the fight of what happened. Of. But I'm yeah, like ridiculous. I don't. Yes. Ridiculous. Like you remember when Michael Venom Page threw the Pokeball at the dude after he fucking caved his face in? People got pissed yeah. off after. Like, yeah, sure. But he didn't know that he caved in his face. So, like, it was kind of cute at the time. But then afterwards, in retrospect, you're like, damn. Caved his face and then threw a Pokeball. It's kind of brutal. But, like, that's in retrospect. He didn't know that at the time. This guy fucking went in overweight and then had the fucking gall to fucking taunt after the fight. What a dumbass. Oh, I hate him. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get a fight in a very long time <laughs> sure sure and then uh, well, john Dana is not like fighters coming in overweight and he was that far overweight i'm pretty sure he's gonna tell uh is, it's sherby right now yes yeah shelby shelby. Shel- shelby shelby uh, shelby it, sean shelby's not gonna give him a fight in a while I'm pretty sure that's yeah, and it, it's sad for will brooks because he's a good fighter and he deserves better yeah. than that uh or he's one of thomas's boys so and, and what I don't blame him for taking the fight. He could have said, "No, I'm not fighting." He's oh, yeah, no, he six. needs to fuck. Like, you can't, yeah. what are you like, gonna do? Gotta, fucking train got, for a month and a half and then yeah, not fight? Like, he's got That's... two kids and a wife and shit. You can't just not take the fucking paycheck or not have like what the fuck. Yep. So it's like, a tough spot for him. It's it's fucking terrible. Uh, they should change the rules about how the 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 weights work. Like coming in point five over, like. Yeah, give up twenty percent of your purse. But yeah. like, if you come up six okay. yeah, fucking pounds over, g- give up more than You'd twenty. Have to like, like fifty yeah. percent. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like, you want to yeah. come up this over? There you go. They, your they would have to do something like that as well. 
And I think I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't get any sort of win bonus or anything no, like that as no. well. If you go home and he was not but... eligible for that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then John and Lineker versus John Dotson. It went to split decision, uh, 47, 48, 48, Do 47, not agree. and 48, 47 yeah, uh, for John and Lineker. So there was, I don't agree either, but I don't, I can't go like, oh, that was totally look bad. At the pu- <laughs> look at the punch percentages. Look at the fucking like striking percentages. Dotson was at fucking sixty nine percent fucking like successful strikes. Freaking Lineker was at like twenty two or twenty three or something like that. What the fuck? And Dotson even had more significant strikes on top of that, and his accuracy was so much uh, fucking higher. Just watching at that fight, just for throwing your fists forward, you get you win the fight, and walking forward and throwing your fists. That, that's how we won the fight. The thing about that fight, though, is, like, Dotson looked really fucking good in the first round, and he looked really fucking good in the fifth round, and everything in between was... Uh, <laughs> like, that's I how I see that fight. That, like, but I think that Dotson should have won. I think Dotson should have won, like, like 100%, yeah. but I don't fully like, disagree. I, I had 4-1 to one Dotson on scorecards, but... Like, I just don't, like, I'll give all the fucking, like, Lanneker can take a fucking shot. He took three or four fucking hard leg kicks to the head and just walked forward. And I think Matt's gone again. No, I'm here. What are you talking about? Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm over okay. here. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, this this was a good fight, but it's just, it's it's a shame that he yeah, had to know, come was, in point five over really or whatever. But I, I fucking I just thought Dotson won that. Like I when they called it split decision, I was like, what? And then that Lineker won, I was like, what? And I just like picked up my head and just fucking threw it down and going, <laughs> what the fuck are these refs do or the judges doing this bullshit? And I turned off my computer. <laughs> like So uh, something else too, this was the lowest rated event of the year that did not take place on a Wednesday. So and funny enough, Ow. that Wednesday card was headlined by Lineker as well. So Lineker, yeah. not a big draw. <laughs> no, I don't think he is. No, I don't think he is either. Dotson, Dotson I thought Dotson, was. Yeah. So I'm kind of surprised. Mm, so like, the dude, thing about he went Dotson, five rounds with Mini Mouse, tw- Mighty Mouse twice. The, the thing about Dotson is you like, have to put him in the co-main event with somebody that's actually draw off drawing power at the top because yeah. that, that's how you make Dotson draw is like yes Dotson's yeah. awesome but like you got to put him with somebody that's like on the level too uh like if you put him against uh Johnson then yeah that that draw like yeah don't that's the main event yeah. right there you don't need like anybody this, else but Jesus Christ like <laughs> he's the only one to survive Mighty Mouse in like fucking five years and he did it twice so I like fuck that oh. guy's good I, I can't believe but, we never talked about this, but have you been paying attention to the tough that's going on right now? No. Uh, so me neither, but I have all the episodes downloaded and I'm, I plan on watching them. But uh, I'm, I'm super interested in the season because they're all, they're all champions. The from concept is really cool. Yes. I just don't see them being able to fucking beat Mighty Mouse. Like, uh, dude, Mighty Mouse is a- so... I want to see Mighty Mouse first cruise. Which well, is we'll what see. is likely going to happen after next fight for Mighty Mouse because he, he'll beat um, Silva's record and then he's going to go up and beat the fuck out of Cruz. So I don't know if I, he can I, beat up I, Cruz. I, just, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> he almost like he was. It was a split decision the first time they fought, and he was nowhere near as good as he is now. Yeah, but I don't know. I still think Cruz is all right. That's the problem. I'm not yeah, saying that. Dude, Mighty, but Mighty Mouse is. <laughs> Ending bitches, and Cruz is like just doing what Cruz does. Yeah, he goes know. out and gets that decision. Like, pretty sure it's going to be ending Cruz. Bitches. Cruz is fighting Dillashaw next. I'm pretty sure. Right. It, I'm not saying, but the thing is, the fight after. Well, I guess fair enough. Dillashaw, if Dillashaw wins, which is actually a fairly interesting possibility. I would actually almost give that 50-50 because that was such oh, a close No, yeah, fight no, that's, that's, us, that's but... don't bet on that fight. That's not a good betting fight. No, yeah, there. yeah, exactly, yeah. Because <laughs> that, that's, that, that first fight, I actually did think Dillashaw won, but, like, uh, I, no, I, I think, I'm, you, I'm they could have called it a draw one. and I would have been, yeah, like, it, <laughs> it, it was a 
close fight. I can't dispute any of that. But I, I think that yeah. uh, the the thing about that fight is Cruz looked really good in the first round, and then he looked really good at the end. Mm. And I, I think that's why he won. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that's about it. Mm. I don't got anything else. If you do want to call in though via Skype, do it. I'm on Mega Scorcher TV. Well, there's. You want to talk there's, about 205 at all? Or? Nobody watching, so it's all good. At 205, I guess we could. That's next. That's uh, yeah. That's in. That's Saturday. Two days. Yes. Yeah. Well, sure. Let's talk about but it. It's just really the main event would be the only thing I would be. Is just is Hendo gonna knock him the fuck out again? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It might happen, but it's not going to happen the same way, because Bisbing's not going to yeah, be I, circling I, to the I left like an idiot again. To the left, the whole, <laughs> well, to his right, yeah, yeah. Like that—that that was really stupid of him in the first time. <laughs> like, shit. It was so obvious he too. Like I don't know. Like hilarious. his corner told him not to do it either between rounds. Yep, and he fucking did it. All right. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, t- 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 wait. Two, oh, this is 205. Wrong card. Yeah. Wrong card. <laughs> and then there'd be uh, Belfort versus... Belfort versus... Uh, why do I always forget this guy's name? Gegard Musasi. Musasi, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that could, that's an interesting fight. That's an interesting fight. I think Musashi's going to win, though. I would think so. Yeah, because um, B- Belfort hasn't looked that great since uh, TRT. Since the TRT comes yeah. out, yeah. Hey, Ovin St. Prue versus Jimmy Manawa. That's a that's a battle of tough black guys right there. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> well, and they're different too. Like, Ovince is like a tall, lanky dude, and Jimmy Manawa is like a short, compact motherfucker. So that's going to be a good fight mm. too. They, they have a tendency to end motherfuckers, those two guys. So Yeah. Uh, Stefan Strew versus I don't know who this other guy is. Daniel Omiel Lanchuk, sure. And uh, I, I, I have like, no when idea. When was Strew's last fight? Not that long ago. Sorry. It was because I do know he was supposed to fight. Oh, he fought Antonio Silva in May. Okay, so that's yeah. not too long ago. And that ended fat. Holy shit! How many times has Bigfoot been knocked the fuck out? Uh, s- five times. I'm not even joking. His last six shit. fights, he's been knocked out five times. He should probably stop fighting. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then the, the main event of the prelims is Yuri Alcantara versus Brad Pickett. Fuck, that's a pretty good fight, too. Pickett would be a pretty good fight, yeah. Uh, Yuri's pretty fucking awesome, too. So, uh, good fight. I, I don't know who I would pick on that one. And then that uh, Rob Font, good old Canadian guy. Oh, no, he's he's American. He's He's American. I guess he fought in Canada, and that's why I remember him. And he got like a, he got some record for like fastest KO or something, didn't he? In, in I have some no idea. division. Uh, let's see here. I I just I remember him being cool. I just remember him being cool. I might be misremembering stuff. Like his his debut in the UFC KO versus George Roop. Next fight TKO versus mm. George Gomez, and then he lost versus Lineker. Hey, that's the that's the oh no, that's UFC one ninety eight. Man, yeah, me in May. Dang, in Brazil. Eh, all right. I don't know. 205 looks good. Yeah. Well, the pay-per-view looks fairly good. Or, or I mean, sorry, 204. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I don't know if I'll yes. buy this one, though, just because of 205. I'm, I'm 100% buying 205. Yeah. So. Yeah. 205s. <laughs> and 206 is looking interesting, too. So. Oh, 206, if there's GSP on there, I might go in person. Might. It's a very big well, might. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to Toronto. Are you getting tickets? Well, yeah, course, I'm pretty sure it's at ACC. I don't know. There's not going to be. Very dude, many I'm going to get tickets, tickets in, like j- like that. You you like say that. you're good at getting tickets, like but that. we'll see. Like that? Uh, no, because I got the tickets here in, in in Ottawa. They sold out in like I think six minutes or something. They they sold out pretty much mm. right away, and I got them the day before they sold out. Because that's how, I'm a G like that. <laughs> No, I because you're a UFC insider, so you get the day before shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, which is but, one of the reasons why those numbers are so ridiculous. So they sell because they only have half the tickets that are actually available. Because <laughs> the 
UFC insiders buy up the other half, and then scalpers probably buy up other tickets that are somewhere. Yeah, and then the but. first event in Toronto, I almost got the tickets for free. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to play the outro music right now. So, hey, check out megascripture.com. All our shows are there. Uh, we'll separate these shows into MMA shows and gaming shows eventually. Eventually. I definitely want to play more video games, so I'll, I'll be talking about more video mm-hmm. games soon. Like uh, Mafia. There's Mafia. There's Forza. There's Gears of War. There's Battlefield. Those are four games that I'm buying for sure. I just need to get a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how do you get a lot of money? Well, I got a lot of money last week working, so that I'm I'm gonna work. That's that's the plan. (laughs) Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just babysitting my kid for nothing. Sure. Working. Um, your wife makes enough money for both of you. You're (laughs) not. She does. Teachers teachers make pretty good money. They make all right money. It depends what kind of teacher you are and what you're doing, but yeah. She's an elementary school teacher and she makes pretty good money. Does she now? What is going on? What, what, hey, XSplit, why are you screwing up? Why are you all screwing up on me? <sighs> God. This was a pretty awesome show in terms of like failures and stuff. All right. Wouldn't be very good if it was. Well, I I did okay lately. Anyways, see ya. See ya. <laughs>